Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing a tutorial video on division. This is a long division worksheet from MathDrills.com. Make sure to check out MathDrills. They have tons of great resources. I do a playlist for them, so make sure to check out my playlist as well. Some basic vocab you'll need to know. Um, you may need to know this is quotient is this number right here. Divisor is outside, and the one inside the divide symbol, which I call the house at times just for shorthand, is the dividend. Okay, so really what we're looking for is the quotient for these. And I'm going to talk about what that means right now with number one. So number one, we have the problem 236 divided by 4. Another way to write this is 236 divided by 4 equals, and that's going to be our quotient. So let me change this to blue. Okay, so we're looking for that answer. Now, division and thinking about division uh, is very confusing for a lot of my students. The best way to think of it is in terms of multiplication. So it's the reverse of multiplication is division. Another way to say this same problem is 4 times something equals 236, where that something is that quotient that we're talking about. So we could essentially just try to figure out what do we multiply by and then see what it, you know, what number we can multiply 4 by to get 200, 236. So how do we go about this process? Well, if you wanted to just count by 4s, you could do that. It would take a long time, but we could do 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, and then we have 16, 20, and then 24. We could do that, but how long would we have to go? We, we could be doing this a long time, so that's not a very efficient way to go about this. So that's why we need some long division rules. This is how it works. So we're going to first look at our dividend that's inside the house, okay? And we see we have, you know, three digits there. And then we have our divisor. That's what we're dividing by. So we're going to see how many times does 4 go into each one of these digits, and we're going to see which ones, okay? So first off, what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to see, does 4 go into the number 2, okay? And what I mean by that is, can we use multiples of 4s to get to 2? If we look here at 4 times 1, we see that we're already bigger than 2. So guess what? We can't put 4 into 2, and that makes sense. We can't multiply 4 times something to equal 2. It just, it's not happening. Uh, 4 is too big. Okay, so what happens is we need to move on to the next uh, number, the next digit. So we're going to do, instead of just doing 2, we're going to consider the number 23. Now, that because that's bigger, we can multiply 4 by something to get close to 23. That's where this little chart down here is going to be helpful. Because we're going to multiply, we're going to look at our multiples of 4 and see how close we can get to the number 23. So uh, we get 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and then we get to 24. Now, I'm not going to put 6 down because 6 is too big. See how we got to 24? That's too large. We went over the number. We want to go under, okay? So we're going to choose 5 here. And the reason why we're choosing 5 is because we get close to 23 but not over. So five is gonna be our guy. So we're gonna put five here above this little three, okay? Uh, that's not very high contrast. Let me choose a different color. I bet this will be better. There we go. So we're gonna choose five. So four times five gives us 20. And again, I chose five because I got close to 23, not exactly. So I put that five above the 23, and then I write the actual result, four times five, and I put that here. I don't want to confuse you, so I'm going to erase that 4 times 5 on the screen. So if you want to pause it or rewind, that's fine. But I'm going to erase it just because I think it's a little confusing. Okay, now, I'm going to talk about what that 5 means. Right now, that technically is in the tens place. So we have hundreds, tens, ones. So that represents 4 times 50, which equals 200. See how we got close? We got close to 236, but we're not exact yet. That's why we got to find the difference and see where we go from there. Okay, so we're gonna find the difference and we're gonna see what else we need to multiply four by to get to 236 exactly, okay? Not 200, we want 236. So I'm gonna do 23 minus 20. This will say what I have left over. So I get three minus zero is three, two minus two is zero, I'm not gonna write that. And I have three, this represents 30, but I now I need to carry down this six. Okay, we can't forget about any of the digits to make sure we arrive exactly on 236. So now, I have a new problem. I could basically rewrite this whole thing as this. Let me erase this on my screen. Again, you can always rewind. 
my new problem essentially is 36 divided by 4. And then I'm going to write that result right there. Okay, so uh, 36 divided by 4 is a much easier problem. We can do that. So again, I just want to highlight we are dividing uh, 36 by 4 now, and we're going to write that result. We got pretty close over here, so let's just keep the pattern going. So we had uh, 4 times 6 is 24. Then we have 4 times 7 is 28. Then we have 32. That's 7, 8, 9. Whoops, I need to move that 9 up. And we get to 36. So we get to it exactly. So technically the answer to this problem is 9. Okay, but I don't want to write it here. I'm going to erase this. Again, you can rewind if you want to see it. I'm going to write it over here in our big problem. I'm going to write that 9 right there. That represents that I do 4 times 9, and then that equals 36. I'm going to write that underneath right there. And again, I don't usually write this 4 times 9 in there. It's too much writing, first off, and then it's maybe a little bit confusing. But I'm just letting you know that's where I got this second 36 from. It matches the first one, yes, but... It's not always going to match like it did up here. 4 times 5 was 20. Okay, This time, 4 times 9 was 36, and it matched exactly, which is what we're looking for. Okay, That's an ideal situation. Now, what we do is we see if we have a remainder. So we do 36 minus 36, and that was 0. Okay, So guess what? Remainder 0. It's exactly uh, 59. So the answer to this question, 4 times what equals 236? The answer is 59. And that's how we do this, okay? And we can re repeat this process with a different question. Um, number two actually would be a good one, okay? I already have like a bunch of space. Let me see if I can uh, make some space here. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and basically repeat this process, maybe not as thoroughly as I did. So if you want it, like the best example is probably that number one. But we're gonna just repeat the process here. Again, right here represents five times something 5 times blank equals 165. So we're going to do first, okay? And if it helps you, do multiples of 5 just to kind of get you started at the bottom. Okay, and then that's 1, 2, 3. That's a 3, <laughs> I swear. 5, okay? So let's just start there. Now we're thinking to ourselves, 5 times what gives us 1? Well, guess what? 5 times 1 is already too big. So we need to move on to the next digit over. We need to include... 16 here okay so now we think 5 times what gives us 16 well look 16 is not on here so we're going to try to look for something close but not over 3 is our guy okay so 5 times 3 I'm going to write that 3 there and remember I'm doing 5 times that 3 you always do 5 times this number in the top and you're going to write the result underneath okay now we're going to subtract because we want to find the difference and we want to find out how much is left over so we can find the exact amount, okay? Because right now I know that five times 30, which is what I have here, okay? Imagine there's a three, uh, zero there. That is 150, that's not 165. So I need to have some stuff left over. I need to see how much left over do I have. So I have the one, okay? And I forgot to make this really clear, but I'm always gonna drop down this next digit. I don't know if I said that very clearly in the first example. I was gonna drop down the next digit, okay? because I need to include all the digits. So now I have 15. Well, guess what? I already knew that five times three was 15. So I'm gonna write three again. So what is five times that three? That's 15. I'm gonna find the difference. It's exactly right. Okay, so five times 33, that's gonna be our answer. Let's do maybe one more. And then if you have additional questions, um, go ahead and ask them, uh, but yeah, ask a question. I can do any of these, but these are too many to do in one video. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and just do this, maybe a tougher one, nine, uh, 774 divided by 9. So again, we're going to try to see, does 9 go into 7? Okay, does it go into our first digit there? And it doesn't. 9's already bigger than 7, so we can't. So we're going to go on to 77. Okay, so how many times does 9 go into 77? I know 9 times 8 is 72. Okay. It's not exactly 77, so I need to subtract and find the difference. 77 minus 72 is 5. Okay, I'm always going to drop down the next digit. That's going to be 4. 9 times 6 is 54. Okay, and now anytime I write a number up here, okay, in this case I wrote the 6, I need to do 9 times that 6. That gives me 
50, oops, that gives me 54, okay? And just as a reminder, just so you see what I'm doing, nine times that six equals that 54. And now I'm gonna subtract, find the difference. So 86 is my answer, okay? That's all I have for this video. If you need more help on long division, check out my math drills playlist. I have additional long division uh, worksheets in there that I go through, more tutorials. If you have a question on any other math concept, make sure to leave a comment being specific as to what content or worksheet you need help with. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.